good day to all of you today we shall discuss on the topic big indian and little indian assignments the content of discussion i have taken from the textbook computer organization fifth edition the author being carl hamacher our sincere acknowledgement and thanks to author carl hamacher so the topic is in chapter 2 2.2.2 is the topic under discussion big indian and little indian assignments in the textbook in computing the indianness is defined as the order of bytes of the word in which they are stored in the memory that is a word will be having multiple bytes in which order these bytes are stored in memory is called as indianness there are two main types of indianness big indian and little indian in big indian the most significant byte of the word is stored at the memory location of lower order address and least significant byte is stored at memory location of higher order address on the other hand in little indian least significant byte of the word is stored at memory location of lower order address and the most significant byte of the word is stored at memory location of higher order address before considering some examples for understanding indianness big indian and little indian we shall see how the memory is organized so memory is byte addressable that means in each memory location one byte of data can be stored one byte means 8 bits so eight storage cells will be there in one memory location so each memory location will have unique address here byte 0 in which memory location it is stored its address is 0 okay then byte 1 where this is stored its address is 1 and byte 2 is stored in memory location whose address is 2 so so byte n minus 1 because the numbering starts from 0 0 to n minus 1 bytes means totally n bytes of data is stored in n minus 1 memory address location so totally n memory locations are there whose address are from 0 to n minus 1 in each memory location one byte is stored hence n bytes means from byte 0 to byte n minus 1 that is what is shown in the figure here so suppose if word length of computer is 32 bits or 4 bytes that means in single access in that computer the data fetched is of 4 bytes all the 32 bits or 4 bytes is accessed from the memory in single access one byte being stored in one memory location 4 bytes means in four memory locations in single access all these four memory locations content is accessed as one word of data what is shown in the figure here four memory locations are shown the address starts from 1000 1001 1002 and the last memory location address is 1003 so 1000 is called as lower order address 1003 is called as higher order address so these four memory locations can store four bytes of data and hence in a computer of word length 32 bits or 4 bytes these four memory locations will be used to store one word of data next we shall see in which order those four bytes of one word will be stored so to understand the order in which a word of four bytes is stored in four memory locations let us take up an example data 0x4534 Two, three, one, two. This is in hex. Okay, how many digits are there? Four, five, three, four, two, three, one, two. So zero x is just the notation, but the number, if you consider, it is four, five, three, four, two, three, one, two hex number. Totally eight digits are there. 
for one digit if you consider so if you take this 4 so it is written as 0 1 0 0 in binary so 4 can be written as 0 1 0 0 in binary 5 can be this 5 can be written as 0 1 0 1 in binary hence 8 digits can be written with 4 bits in binary means 4 8s are 32 bits that is how 32 bits of the data is written with 8 digits in hex so 2 digits 4 5 4 bits plus 4 bits form 8 bits 1 byte of data 3 4 digits form 2nd byte of data 2 3 form 3rd byte of data 1 2 form 4th byte of data here the 1 2 is called as lower order byte of the data and 4 5 is called as higher byte of the data ok so next with respect to memory how this 4 bytes of data is stored 1 2 is lower order byte of data or least significant byte of data 4 5 is higher order byte of data or most significant byte of data so four locations as considered earlier here they are shown whose addresses are 1000 1001 1000 to 1003 1000 is lower order address 1003 is higher order address the first figure if you consider in four memory locations how four bytes of one word are stored so four by five four five belongs to higher order byte of data that is stored in lower order address then lower order byte of data is stored in higher order address this kind of ordering of bytes in the memory is called as big indian if four bytes of the given word if they are stored in this manner in the memory or in this order in the memory that is called as big indian what is little indian second figure if you consider the same four memory locations but in lower order address lower order byte of data is stored in higher order addressed memory location higher order byte of data is stored okay this kind of ordering of data in the memory is called as little indian right so two different computers can use this two different indianness to store four byte integer or 32 bit data if for second example if you consider the hex number 1c 2c 3b 4d these are the eight digits so the figure indicates big indian type of storage so here 1c is higher order byte of data is stored in lower order address location right then lower order byte of data is stored in higher order addressed memory location so this kind of arrangement as already discussed with one first example this is called as big indian okay suppose if higher order byte of data is stored at memory location of higher order address if lower order byte of data is stored at memory location of lower order address then it is called as little indian right so that was the discussion regarding big indian and little indian with two examples big indian is used in networking protocols including internet protocol suit or set on the other hand little indian ness is used in processor architectures such as 86 arm advanced risk machine and risk reduced instruction set computers file and their related memory file formats can use both of the ndns right so what was the topic big ndn and little ndn assignments these are nothing but the order in which the bytes of a word are stored in memory i hope you understood thank you